Today, we're going to talk about live blood cell analysis, what your doctor doesn't know about your blood. And of course, you know, almost everybody's had a blood test, but not a lot of people know about a live blood cell analysis. And I've had both, but I've brought in today our testing expert, of course, Katrine Valinsky is back with us today to share with you about this amazing technology and the difference between live blood cell and a regular blood analysis, when and where you might use these things and, and why that's important for you to own. So welcome back to the set, Katrine. Thank you, Wade. So let's talk about this for a second. Um, everybody's gone for a blood test, which has some certain advantages, but there's another thing called the live blood cell analysis. What, what, what does that mean? Well, a live blood cell analysis is a qualitative blood cell analysis. So when you go into a doctor for a conventional blood analysis, it's more quantitative. It just tells you different levels of, let's say, cholesterol or CO2 or different parts of your blood that are really important for you to know anyway. But live blood cell analysis is more qualitative. It shows you what your blood looks like, what's the health of it, you know, what kind of pH conditions are present, whether you're dehydrated, whether you congested, whether you have yeast condition or anything like this. So it's a very powerful tool that I find uh, with people to actually see their blood. You know, when you see a piece of paper with a whole bunch of numbers, you, know, you don't, you do understand, but it doesn't sink in as much. But when you see your blood live, you know, on, a, um, on your screen or on a computer, um, you have a different effect biologically. You can see what it looks like, and when you make steps to change your life, change your lifestyle, change your health, uh, you can go back and see the difference. It's very visual, it's very powerful. Uh, it's one of those techniques that are really important uh, for self-improvement uh, and for motivation. So it's, it's an important aspect of testing from that point of view. But also, again, like I said, it shows you the quality of your blood and how fast it responds to things. So when you take a live blood cell analysis, you basically take um, a, a drop of your blood and look under a very powerful microscope. So it's live, it's moving, things are happening in there. Uh, when you're looking at conventional blood analysis, it's already kind of dead. <laughs> Not dead, but you know, it's been right. processed to, uh, to find all those different components that you usually see. So when it's live, it's alive again. You, you're seeing things that are happening real time. Uh, also, in a live blood cell analysis, again, it's qualitative. You see things. Um, it's more responsive to what you've been doing for the last couple of, let's say, days or weeks. You know, if you had a heavy meal or, um, let's say, wine the night before, you will see more congestion in your blood. So it's, it's very responsive to what's going on. Um, we also do when we do live blood analysis. We do such a, a we do a dry test. Uh, so basically, we let the blood cell, the blood to uh, dry out and how it coagulates and how it clots. It also gives us clue about what's going on in the body, what kind of acidic waste that it might be that let's say bacteria or yeast are making, or you know the way it clots will also shows us different um, metabolic um, deficiencies like vitamin C, B vitamins, uh, a lot of different nutritional aspects will show up in the um, live blood cell analysis when they won't show up in their uh, conventional blood cell. Wow, so there's a big difference and some real advantages. Now, I know that you're an advocate of both live Absolutely. and regular blood testing. Mm -hmm. what, what are the advantages of regular blood testing? Well, again, it's, it's, uh, it's more conventionally acceptable and it gives you other parameters that live blood cells are not going to be able to tell you. It will actually tell you the quantities of things in your blood. So again, the live blood qualitative, how it looks, how it performs, you know, what's happening with uh, conventional blood cell is the quantities like cholesterol, um, the, uh, let's say, the certain hormones, the uh, um, uh, levels of iron, things like that. Uh, and uh, the important factor with conventional blood testing is to get very educated about what you can ask from, uh, from your doctor, because a lot of doctors will just do very selective testing and won't really go into detail. But if you get really well educated about what you can ask for, you will get a better picture of what's going on with your body metabolically. Again, our medical system is more acute uh, um, triggered, you know, like it's, it's looking for short -term, problems mean, short term right. yes uh, with prevention uh, with preventative methods you can see things happening ahead of time so it's why when you get educated about different ways uh, of conventional blood testing and different aspects let's say of your thyroid testing you can ask for more from your doctor and uh, get a better understanding of what's happening you know into the future let's say in preventative measures 
So if I heard you correctly, so that in other words, a live blood cell is really good on the preventative side. I know I've had it done. Well, and both, both of them are good no, on the preventative side. Okay, I want to be clear about yeah. that. But <laughs> the thing is, it does have a big impact when you see this under the microscope for live blood cell, and you can see what's and going and on. And again, you can predict things, not predict things, but see things before they're going to happen, like major disease before they develop. You sometimes can see uh, aspects of it already developing for a person you know, a few years ahead of time. So you can ca catch something and correct it and you know, do some certain nutritional therapies or adjustments to the lifestyle and maybe avoid some of those problems that uh, we can get this you know, old age or just living here and being in, on this planet. In, in, in both cases, again, you're probably going to need an expert that's going to be able to understand oh, the data yeah. and determine. Uh, you know, and it's pretty good to get somebody who is not completely just into one, you know, like just live blood cell, or just conventional. It's, it's really good to get somebody who can take it all together and put it together in to really nice understanding of what's going on with that person at the time. So uh, doing both, let's say the conventional okay. and the live blood cell analysis will give you way more tools to you know, like look at your health and see you know, ahead of time what might be developing and correct that. And how often would you get tested? Uh, live blood cell analysis, you can you know, get tested again when you're working with the practitioner and you're uh, looking at your nutritional profile and how you change in the diet. It's good to touch with them. It's a different practitioner will test uh, on a different basis. Like I like to go every 21 days because that's when our bodies adjust and uh, that's when we make difference. Uh, in our uh, biochemistry, that's that's kind of how I like go going with it with uh, live blood cell analysis. With conventional uh, cell anal uh, with conventional blood work, uh, you might want to be doing it at least once a year and doing a full panel again, not just uh, certain you know aspects that a regular MD would look for, but doing a good bioscan. Um, and th those will at least once a year, especially when you start getting older, you know, 35 and older, like I said earlier, for hormone testing is the same here. That's when a lot of changes start happening for women and men. And you can correct those uh, age-related problems, <laughs> you know, before they appear. Um, best if you can do it quarterly. You know, quarterly is a, is a, it's a very good thing, uh, system for you to set up and quarterly to kind of look at your health and your goals and how you're doing. And blood work will definitely show you what's going on inside of your body. Awesome. Well, that's really great. And it kind of goes along with, you know, what we advocate here in the, the 84 steps. I mean, obviously, that's 12 weeks. I mean, the perfect timing would be start, get your live blood cell, your blood analysis, all your testing, basically, and then compare it on, on a three-month basis. And I guess as you go along, then you would probably need it less frequency once you kind of got into that optimal zone. Is that correct? Well, it depends on the person because some people who get, you know, very optimized, they want to continue going uh, you know, higher and higher and get better and better. So a lot of people that are really into their health, they, they choose to uh, do quarterly testing. They just choose so, so they can see how they're doing. But at least once a year is very acceptable and it's a good thing to keep tabs on. Well, I mean, I learned so much today about this. I mean, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you, for you out there, uh, I want to share with you, um, getting involved in doing regular testing, of course, that is at right at the, the key aspect of optimization. It's why we kind of left this near the end of the program. Is so you're understanding, if you want to go to the next level, I mean, you could apply all of this without seeing the results, but testing really becomes self-motivating and very empowering of how you can start taking control and through by implementing some of the things that we've suggested in this course, you can actually make legitimate differences in your life and change maybe how you're gonna track over those next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And that's the best part. I mean, the whole idea here is to be at your optimal level for as long as possible. We can't maybe guarantee how long you're gonna be here, but why not have the best time while you're here? So thank you so much, Katrine. Thank you, Wade. If you're looking for testing, uh, you can refer to the website where you have, or you can look into your local area. If you have any questions, of course, go back to the BioOptimizer website, and we're happy to help out. And of course, we do have select testing available with Katrine. It's very, very difficult to get her because she's, you know, so many people are after her, but let me share with you, she really does a great work. So uh, again, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next lesson.